Honda FCV Clarity. Technologically, it's a hit, with a 700 plus kilometer range on the European cycle, efficiently packaged fuel stack and motor producing 130 kilowatts, up 30%, tucked neatly under the hood. But while the last Clarity was blandly pleasant looking, the new car is an origami nightmare. I got a short test drive in the car about 1 km, most of it straight line, the car is smooth, with good acceleration, but auto shows are chiefly for interior and exterior styling impressions. Honda plans its next dedicated plug-in hybrid off the Clarity's new platform, so we'll see a lot more of this in both fuel cell and PHEV form TL. Revelation, money for what? In response to a question about how much Toyota has been investing in advanced materials technologies, Toyota Senior Vice President Mitsuo Sakato acknowledged that Ford got a big jump on the Japanese automaker. With Ford introducing their F-150 with an all-aluminum body, that was a big shock and impact to car makers around the world, Kato said. Toyota of course is looking into various materials as well in terms of lightning weight, but with Ford's introduction our understanding is we are behind Ford, and in order to recover we are doing a lot of research, including carbon fiber. M.F. Honda FCV Clarity. Lexus LFFC. Must admit to a bit of trepidation when it came to the LFFC. Despite the concept's fuel cell powertrain, we know this is a close look at the next LS. Because Lexus leads the long luxury car concept with its signature spindle grille, of which some of us aren't too fond, I had to see it in the metal myself. Well, it works very nicely indeed. This time the grille makes sense, both in its size and texture. After that, the sheet metal looks like a combination of a sculpture and extrusion as it flows rearward. Nice the way the side glass tapers down at the back. The tail lights are a touch over the top, but aren't a big distraction in the overall shape. Hope they can stick with no door handles, J.L.Lexus LFLC. Yes, it ticks every box of modern Asian car maker design, but it fails to take those parts and sum them into anything even approaching unique. Looking at the LFFC in the metal is an exercise in focus, the predictable surfaces and proportions yielding only to the all-consuming expanse of spindle grill at the nose, requiring a force of will to keep your attention from sliding back to the Mazda RX Vision stationed a few dozen feet away. Or at that curiously tufted bit of carpet at your feet. N.I. Revelation, Wacky Concept Cars with Purpose my fellow grizzled veterans and I lament the loss of a time, at least a decade ago, when Toyota, Nissan, Suzuki, Isuzu and especially, Honda, each rolled out wild concepts never meant to see production. Remember the Toyota Pod? The Honda Unibox? The Isuzu Begin Funkai Box? Okay, that last one was best known for its name. They're never coming back in numbers in such wonderfully useless form, but they are starting to reappear at this show when the manufacturer can ascribe a practical use, their fuel cell vehicles, battery electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, and slash or vehicles for special mobility needs. Consider the Honda Wonder Stand concept, which at 78.7 inches long by 49.2 inches wide by 72.8 inches tall, looks like a two-seat version of the Honda Unibox from the Zero One show. Its Honda Omni traction drive allows it to navigate tight spaces where those huge K cars would jam up. HOTD allows forward, backward, lateral and dynamic movement, either operator-driven or autonomously. It even has its own Wonder Walker motor scooter companion, at just 540 mm wide, it's narrow enough to pass through Japan's automatic turnstiles, T.L. Tokyo, Japan, 
It's unanimous among our four intrepid correspondents reporting from Tokyo Big Sight, the Skyactiv Wankel rotary powered Mazda RX Vision is the hit, and perhaps for the entire auto show season so far. Of course, the season to date consists only of Tokyo and September's Frankfurt IAA, with the Los Angeles show coming up in November. Tokyo trumped this year's uninspiring Frankfurt largely because the manufacturers managed a bit more surprise coming here, even with myriad teaser images, the Japanese automakers, plus Mercedes-Benz, managed to maintain intrigue right up to the press preview. And with that, we lead off our compilation of likes, dislikes and thumbsuckers from Tokyo 15 with that unanimous choice for best in show. Hit. Mazda RX Vision. Cutting right to the chase, build it, Mazda. Okay, the long and low proportions likely won't make it to production, but the automaker's Kodo design language has translated with style on other layouts and we suspect it will here too. Having two doors likely means it will be called an RX7, which makes having a rotary engine all the more appropriate. Those of us who were around for the launch of the first RX-7 nearly 40 years ago can't wait to feel what the Wankel engine will rev like today. Hope it has a turbo. Stand back, Porsche Cayman, bet you have a challenger on the horizon. John Lamb. Hit, Mazda RX Vision. You'd have a very hard time finding anyone here who wasn't immediately smitten with the RX Vision concept. Mazda's likely future super sports car. The big shocker was the Skyactiv R Wankel engine revealed by the RX part of the name. But that's where the hints end, Mazda wouldn't say anything at all about the car, just rolled it out there and let us o and off. The RX's long hood is curious given the relative compact packaging of the rotary engine, but it looks sleek and sexy. Big time hit dot hit. Mazda RX Vision. If Mazda can put together the resources to build a dedicated rotary powered sports car, there are still many issues to overcome, says CEO Masamichi Kagai, it's several years off. Mazda must take the easiest way out and start with the MX-5 Miata's backbone RWD chassis. Make the Skyactiv Wankel a turbo, don't attach it to any kind of electric assist and engineer it for the best possible fuel economy numbers. And please, Mazda, don't succumb to the DCT crutch, a proper three-pedal six-speed manual will work just fine, thank you. Todd Lassa. Hit, Mazda RX Vision. Low slung, long, and lean, the Mazda RX Vision is visually faster than anything else in Tokyo this year. With the magic of Mazda's chassis design and tuning, I'm sure it'll be blast to drive. Never mind the man behind the rotary curtain. Nelson Ierson. Mercedes Vision Tokyo Concept. While I'm behind what Mercedes is trying to do with its Vision series of concepts, which are designed to push the limits of the future of automobility, the Tokyo version was a stretch, and a cliché. Running with the tagline progressive, interactive, cool, the concept was a thinly veiled attempt to reach hip, young, mega city denizens, presumably those with vision loads of cash. It has a couch, doesn't every future cool car, a hologram display in the middle to control stuff, and a single driver seat with a steering wheel, but yeah, they don't really need that. Outside, everything glows because of course it does, and its single box, one door design is best described as a bloated, limo wagon. They will probably have more luck pushing a future vision of smart, which is attempting to gain a bigger foothold in Japan, M.F. Hit, Mercedes-Benz Vision Tokyo Concept. A shoulder-high silver bullet with surprising personality for a one-box design promising all of the autonomy and technology of the F-015 concept, plus a horseshoe-shaped lounge couch in the passenger compartment, the Mercedes-Benz Vision Tokyo concept is perhaps the coolest minivan in history. 
and Dot I. Nissan Concept 2020 Vision Gran Turismo. Yes, we know this one is way out there, but I love the direction it points for the GTR. Could you imagine trying to maintain those side sculptures in production? Hate to be the engineer who would have to create the doors. Doubt those jet exhaust tail lights could make it to the assembly line. Still, like the Mazda RX Vision, the 2020 Vision Gran Turismo is damn exciting and points a direction I hope its creator is headed, J.L. Revelation, Nissan IDS as the latest sign of the automotive apocalypse. Considered a hint of the next Nissan Leaf electric car, the IDS concept offers both manual and piloted drive modes. But it doesn't have a conventional steering wheel, instead, it's a touchscreen tablet, T.L. Hit, Honda S660 Motor Show Special Collection. Arg. You're a tease, so lightweight and fun to drive, though I couldn't say very much after two laps on a high-speed oval in a test prior to the show, where I topped out at 84 miles per hour. You're the spirit of the original CRX, but with rear-wheel drive, a mid-engine turbo 3 and open roof, and you're a K car, which means that like the old CRX, you're too light and too small for the US market and current crash standards. And here you are, two years after your debut, tempting us even further with a special auto show model featuring metal and suede interior accents and a black racing stripe on gunmetal grey paint. Wonder if Automobile could use a Tokyo correspondent. It's an easy language to learn, right? T.L. Subaru Impreza 5 door concept. Come on, Subaru, you can do it. Yes, you showed the WRX concept a couple of New Yorks ago and failed to deliver anything even remotely like it, but I believe in you. You can finally dodge the ugly stick. You can build this Impreza and bring the hatch back to America. Right? And I. Subaru Visive. I can't pronounce the name, but do admire the styling. There is a legion of Subaru fans out there with great stories to tell about their car's reliability, robustness, go anywhere abilities, and simple utility. But you won't find many telling you about the beauty of their Subaru. No argument the WRXT looks very, very cool, but that's not necessarily beauty. Now with the Visive we see some movement toward greatly improved design. It still has a sense of plaid shirt and hiking boots, but that's the beauty of Subaru, so to speak. J.L. It looks about the size of a Forester. Or, it could be the next Outback, but both these models are years away from a redesign. So what is it? 
Imagine the Vizib concept stretched to accommodate three rows of seats, and you have the Tribeca replacement, which has not been long awaited because... Tribeca. This design ought to erase any memory of that ill-conceived model, T.L. Toyota Kakai concept. This snappy little runabout is a return to what used to make the Tokyo show special, concepts designed to get tongues wagging and jaws dropping. From its exposed suspension bits and rear mid-engine hanging out back with artfully exposed pipes, to its center driving position and artfully done instrumentation, the Kakai quite simply kicks some chrome-plated ass. It stands zero chance of being built. But maybe Toyota will let us get behind the wheel someday, just for Kikai's, of course. M.F. Toyota Kikai concept. It looks like the spawn of a mega city apocalypse survivors trans Asia trek to find some sign of continued human civilization if that survivor only had access to a junkyard filled exclusively with Toyota IQs. N.I. Miss, Toyota SFR. Is it the yawning mouth or the body color kick up aft of the side windows that makes it look like it got a wedge? Hard to say, but this is one unappealing little sports car. We offer the Gen 1 Daihatsu Kopen, the Suzuki Cappuccino and the Ford Street Ka as examples of cute little sportsters. And then there's the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Looks like this one was shuffled off to the intern's JL. Toyota FCV Plus concept. It looks like a four-wheel vacuum cleaner designed by Apple's Jonathan Ive. In the late 1990s. All this proves is that while fuel cell technology may someday become key to controlling global warming, it's not very pretty. T.L. Revelation, the perils of product endorsement. Star baseball player Ichiro Suzuki told everyone at the Toyota press conference, twice, that he really loves cars, but he's a bad driver. Toyota CEO Akio Toyota is clearly a huge fan of Ichiro, going so far to say that he wants Toyota's car making to be more like the baseball star. We're not entirely sure what that means, should Toyota be a speedy slap hitter with a good glove, but we got it when he said he wanted his company to step up to the plate, 
presumably like Ichiro MF, 